the live with runway light and turbine head wraps will commence very shortly. Just letting some people join us. Hi to the Mrs. CJ. Thanks for joining. Let me know if you can hear me or if I need to turn my volume up. How's your day going, Miss CJ? Where are you at? In, are you in the U.S. or are you somewhere else around the world? Oh, I see my special guest has arrived. I'll go ahead and get started. So, um, welcome to the Runway Life. It's a limited mi mini series and it's going to be every Tuesday, Travel Tuesday, no luggage, no passports required. Um, and we're going to be talking about travel with some of my friends who travel. We're going to talk about travel hacks, um, travel investments, travel must-haves, things that can prepare you for a trip, um, and save you time along the way. And who said we just because we can't travel that we can't talk about it? Oh, hey, fellow Texan. Uh, me and my special guest for today, she is also a Texan. Um, so we're going to upload the video series each Tuesday to IGTV, Runway Life IGTV, and um, also Runway Life's YouTube channel. So please subscribe. Hi, mother. My mother has joined. Um, so you can, if you missed it, or if you want to share this with a friend, please feel free to direct them to Runway Life's IGTV or to, um, my YouTube channel. So today we're going to have my friend. Her name is also Tiffany. Um, I've known her almost all my life. I think I was maybe 12 or 13 and she's my BFF sister. So my best friend's sister. So that means she's my sister too. Um, and she's designed some awesome turban head wraps, which um, I'll have her to explain during our chat. I'm going to go ahead and add her in because she's here. Oh. Hey, girl. How are you? Hey. Oh, nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. <laughs> I didn't get my filter. Hold on. Let me find my filter now. Okay, guys. She's there finding her filter. She looks great without it, though. Is it showing? I guess. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. It looks weird over here. Yeah, when you okay, flip yeah. it back, it, like, blurred your background for some reason. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. All right, whatever. Let's well, go you look great, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, so welcome to Travel Tuesday chat with Tiff and Tiff, and we're just going to talk about traveling. So, um, I'll let her go first since she's a special guest. So what made you start wanting to travel? I know you've gone a lot of places and been, you know, through a lot in travel experiences. So let's yeah, well, it, it kind of started for me. I've always wanted to travel, but not really had the means or the education to know how to do it. So my first international trip was in probably like 2002 to Jamaica. So of course, you know, everyone loves beach destinations and such. Um, and then um, I didn't really start major international traveling until probably around 2008, 2009. Um, I met someone, I was dating someone who was an avid traveler, like he knew all the ins and outs, um, how to redeem points and miles and all that stuff. So we were really able to, um, you know, have some great trips. Um, and that kind of just really, you know, lit that fire in me to want to do it, you know, even more. Mm -hmm. So 
that's how it started. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, normally, you know, growing up, depending on where you are, you know, all you know is your area. So you exactly. haven't been outside of your area. And for us, our area was Louisiana and Texas. That was the only places we were going <laughs> right. on a regular. So. And there's a whole world out there. So, exactly. you know. <laughs> <laughs> so once you read more about it and, you know, learn more, it kind of sparks your interest. So did you have any travel plans that were interrupted by COVID? Not particularly. Um, and I say that in the sense of I didn't have anything booked and planned and like, you know, anything that I had to cancel. I did have some um, plans or anticipations to maybe travel this summer, but um, that's probably going to be on hold for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I understand. Trust me. Um, I had a trip to New Zealand that I was supposed to leave for to on Thursday, actually. And oh, really? that was canceled. <laughs> um, okay. The airlines canceled it for me. Otherwise, I still would have been trying to go. Um, hello, Cousin Pam has joined us. Um, and just last week, my Bali trip was canceled. Um, Emirates canceled the flight. So I have no trips. The good thing is that I did go to Thailand for my birthday. So end of December, first part of January, I was in Thailand. And I really had a great time. And that's kind of holding me over. Otherwise, I'd probably be going stir crazy that I have all this off time and I can't go anywhere. So, right. um, so what's your favorite trip or destination if they differ? That, that's a hard question because, um, like you said, I've gone to several places. I've been to Turkey, Dubai, um, all over Asia, Tokyo, Hong Kong, Singapore, a lot of places. And each of them had their little special memories, actually, you know. Mm -hmm. So there's something special about each of those locations that I'll always, like, hold dear. Um, probably one of my most memorable trips was when I went to Dubai because that was the first solo trip that I took. Um, a lot of people were like, why are you going to a Muslim country by yourself as a female? And um, I didn't let that deter me. I just, I was nervous. I was scared. I didn't let them know that. But I took the trip. It was a great experience. Learned so much about the culture, uh, the food, um, and just about myself, honestly. You know, solo traveling just opens up so many avenues for you personally that, you know, I always encourage people to, you know, invest in themselves and go on the trip even if they don't have people to accompany them. Yeah, definitely. Because people always think I'm crazy when I go by, on trips by myself, but I don't care. If my friends can't go and it's somewhere that I really want to go, yeah. I'm going to go. Um, yep. And Dubai definitely holds a special place in my heart. I went for my birthday one year um, for two weeks, me and two friends, and we had a blast. It's nothing like the stereotypes. And I just really had a good time. And, you know, just knowing that it's a new country, not even 50 years old and you know the advancements that they have the access mm -hmm. the money that they have because of you know the mineral oils and different things that they have there is just mind-boggling um but it was definitely a great time um so let's talk about maybe a time you're you're on a trip and you had a hair tragedy <laughs> that may have messed uh. up your vacation one in particular sticks out to me, and this is, like, I'm natural. I think most people are probably now at this point, but um, I never wear my hair curly. Like, I'm just now starting to embrace that, you know, 40-something years later. But um, I went to Mexico, and this is when I was, like, strictly flat iron curling. Like, my hair was always straight wrapped up. Like, it was never curly. And um, She's not telling the bit. We used to try to get her to wear her curly hair. And girl, like, no, never, never. <laughs> so we get to Mexico. And if, of course, it's a beach trip, so we're supposed to be relaxed and all that. But I was going to still have my hair straight regardless. So first of all, my luggage was lost. It's the first time my luggage was lost. We get to the hotel. There's no luggage. Um, and then when the luggage did arrive, like two days later, there was literally a whole in the suitcase went through my uh, um went through my suitcase and just took that out and it was like one of those hundred two hundred dollar croc flat irons because i used to invest honey yeah. and it was gone so i had no choice i just had to basically corn roll it untwist it do a little twist out <laughs> you know and it worked out fine it was probably one of the times i was able to say okay you know i'm depending on that way too much like i can just you know do my natural hair and go but um, that was something that will always stick in my memory because I was like devastated. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? So, <laughs> yes. I survived. <laughs> yes, we have all been there. I know I've been there. Um, 
several vacations where I had my hair nicely flat ironed and then I get there and the humidity like puffs it up and then I'm back mm-hmm. to curly city. So I'm like, what do I do? I either wear my hair natural or I pull it back in a bun. So that's right. kind of when I started really embracing my curls and, you know, going on trips when your hair is just jacked up and you just got to make do with what you got. So um, I, I really kind of started wearing my hair more so natural once I started traveling. You also just learned that it's not about that. Like, if you're there for a trip to enjoy and have an experience, ain't nobody looking at your head. Exactly. You know, <laughs> you're more concerned about it than other people would be. Mm-hmm. And there's people that you'll probably never see again. Like, exactly. You know? Exactly. So it is what it is. You you live and you learn. Mm-hmm. Just like, you know, fashions when you overpack. That was one of the questions someone asked me, like, how do you know how much to pack? Or how do you know, um, hey, Donica, what to pack, what not to pack? Listen, half the stuff you pack, you ain't gonna wear. Actually, more than exactly. half the stuff you pack, you ain't gonna wear. <laughs> yep, so, I've made that mistake before, too. Pack sensibly, especially if you're going on a walking trip, you know, don't bring a lot of heels because you're not gonna want them. You mm-hmm. need some flats and some tennis shoes. Um, <laughs> so you live and you learn though. So let's talk about the turban head wrap. That is your baby. Um, you came up with it when, well, I'll let you tell when you came up with it. We just want to know how it works. If you can give us a demo of it. So what I'm wearing now is a turban. Um, this is actually one of my favorite prints. Um, this is called Moroccan and I have another one that I'll show you when, in the demo, but essentially it's a a uh, head wrap system. So a lot of people are selling and promoting these pre-tied head wraps, which they are, are these um, simple head wraps, easy head wraps, what have you. But there's still some, um, some level of tying and dexterity you have to have to get it on. Um, and so myself, I, I was wearing head wraps and kind of, you know, wearing scarves and stuff like that. And I can never really tie it. I can probably do it like one way uh-huh. and I just go with it. Um, but with this, it's already pre-done. So when it says pre, pre-tied, it is literally pre-tied. Okay. So I'll just, I'm not going to take this off. Uh-huh. I'm That'll not gonna, I'm <laughs> but <laughs> just so you can see, so basically it's a turban cap that uh-huh. you can fit to your head. Uh-huh. And then the bun itself is already structured to where all you do is just put it on. I don't know if y'all could hear that, but it kind of clicked when I put it into place, but basically it's magnetic. Uh-huh. Um, and so you can wear it this way or you can wear it um, some variations as well, which I'll show you. Uh, you want me to do that now? Sure. So this is my other favorite. This is um, actually- That's the one that I like. I'm gonna order that one today. Yeah. Let me raise her up a little bit, I guess. Can y'all see it okay? I don't know. It looks like it's cut off. In the, uh, in the yeah, movie. raise it up a little bit because you can't see her face. Yeah, there you go. Right, right there. there. Uh-huh. Good. All right, so this is Savannah. Hey, Savannah. Hey, Savannah. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> so um, I, we haven't talked about the mask, but I'm also selling masks as well. So um, you can coordinate or you can purchase the mask separately or even purchase the turbine separately as well. But um, I got her all outfitted out, but we're going to take her mask off. Um, so as you can see, she's wearing hers with her hair loose. I don't know if y'all can really see that, but you can wear it this way as well. I would suggest, though, that the turban cap, if you think about the way a turban is worn, it's really supposed to be fitted to your head. Uh-huh. So if you hair is too big or too um loose uh-huh. it may affect the way that the turban cap itself fits uh-huh. so it's helpful that your hair is as flat as it can be of uh-huh. course this style would work um under mine i actually have my hair just down in two flat twists that way the cap fits pretty snug uh-huh. i also i'll suggest this too that when you wear the turban or the turban, you can also wear a wig cap. So my hair is really fine and very silky. Um, the caps are satin lined, so those two um, textures against each other are very slippery. So in order to keep it in place a little bit better, I'll put on a wig cap on top of my braids. Okay. Um, and it just gives that extra security. That's not required. You know, you can still just wear it because the point of having the satin is to help to protect your hair. Anyway. Uh-huh. So, but I'll take Savannah's off so you can kind of see it. When you receive your turbine, it will come kind of pre-assembled just like this. Mm-hmm. So technically, you could just take it and slide it on this way. Um, but of course, you may want to take it apart and actually fit it to your head. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the bun off mm-hmm. and then the cap here. Let me move her to the side so y'all can see a little bit better. But the way the cap works, there is a drawstring in the center. These magnets are sticking together. They're pretty strong. But the drawstring allows you to adjust the opening here. Oh, okay. So it opens up here. Um, 
I send an instruction card with it um, so you kind of know which direction it should go. Uh -huh. But basically, the label, which is at the back, will go to the nape of the neck the at back. the back. So the elastic will be at the top of your head. So slide her back in the frame. This is, I've never done this before, y'all. <laughs> You're doing good, girls. Your first Interesting. Time. <laughs> okay, so I fit it on her head. Um, you can see the front is kind of loose. So what you would do is draw it up. Let me stand up. Maybe that'll be better vantage point. I would draw it up to fit her head. Uh -huh. Savannah has a very small head, by the way. Um, <laughs> so I've had to improvise. The average size head is about 22, 23 inches, which is the uh -huh. standard size of the turbine. Uh -huh. But you can custom order. So if your head is bigger than that, I've made some 24 inch, some 24 and a half. Uh -huh. You know, if you wear braids all the time, you may want to wear, you know, want to accommodate for that and order a larger size. Okay. So cap is on her. And then for the turban, there's a label here too that would go up uh -huh. instead of down. So it would go on like this and basically just find where the magnets are so that they will attract to the magnets in the bun. Okay. And so, so basically all labels go to the back. Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, that's the direction that they should go. Mm -hmm. So that's one way you can wear it. Um, my mom has one, and she likes to wear it with the bun to the back. Uh -huh. That's just not my preference, but hey, <laughs> it's your your money, your product, wear like you want to. Um, the other way that you can wear it, which is pretty fun, is um, kind of like a pineapple style. Uh -huh. Let me see. This, this might take a minute, y'all. Give me a second, because I had to rig her up. Take your time. Someone's asking if you can wear it in the back. She's going to demo the different ways, so um, hold on. You can one, wear it in the back. Uh, one person asks, do you feel you need to style while you're getting your head ready? Do you feel you need to style your hair a certain way when you're in some countries? Um, I would say it totally depends. I definitely wouldn't wear a flat iron or a straight plus out to an island destination because you're definitely, that's not going to hold. Um, but it honestly depends on your activities and how, you know, much you want to be concerned about your hair. Um, for me, you know, braids, if you're African-American, that always works. A uh, sew in if you don't want to fight with your own hair or your own hair because you can just wet and go, you know, depending on your curl pattern. But this is where the turban comes in um, because you don't have to worry about your hair. You can be out all day, have human humidity head pull it back comb it back and and be gone to your next destination in style so this is why we're showing you the turban wrap right now okay and this is like the pineapple style so i'll kind of turn her around basically it kind of fits like a a head wrap or uh -huh. a, a headband i guess you can say but it goes um all the way around the back of here so if you're having a bad day with your kitchen your edges ain't right, uh -huh. all that kind of stuff. You can throw this on and just put your hair up like in a, a top knot or leave it loose. A lot of people like to wear it like this with their braids kind of coming down. Uh -huh. um, so that's another variation of it. Okay. So if you were to wear the bun to the back, all you do is just turn the cap around. And Correct. And yeah. So just take this and uh -huh. put it to the back. Same difference. Yeah. Oh, good. So I know you said, you know, you came up with this because – it's, you know, there are definitely a lot of turbans, but not turbans out there. And a lot of them say they're easy to tie, but they're not. So was that something like that you struggled with or did that made you come up with this idea? Yeah. Um, and just just for the ease of it, because a lot of people spend a lot of time trying to tie a <laughs> turban or trying to tie a head wrap, I guess you <laughs> should say. Um, and when you're on the go and you're trying to get out the house, for me, I'm also a teacher. So um, when I'm getting up at five six in the morning trying to get out the house it's easy to throw this on um i also teach culinary arts so i kind of saw a need there too because with safety and sanitation you do have to have your hair secured uh -huh. so a lot of times when i'm teaching and i'm cooking or doing a demo or anything like that i'll just throw a turban on uh -huh. and i'm good to go uh -huh. so um really for the ease and the time efficiency uh -huh. of it a lot of that played into it as well so COVID definitely caused you to expand business with a mask um just I know you showed your mask really quickly, but can you talk a little bit or just show it a little bit? Um, yeah, so, um, of course, there was a craze, this whole, you know, fanatic 
uh, response to uh, masks because people were afraid of, you know, catching COVID or spreading it. Mm -hmm. So everyone started making masks. And then there was a shortage of masks. That was really a, a big um, impact on that, too. Um, and I have a lot of friends that work in the medical industry. And so my thought was, OK, well, I'll make some for them, uh -huh. you know, but I'm not about to jump on this bandwagon with with uh -huh. uh, masks and stuff. I really did not want to do it. And then I made a few for them. And they were pretty much like, girl, you better start making these masks and making this money. And I'm like, okay, I'll try. So it led, it led into a whole different arena. Um, business just really started booming based on the mask. And then, of course, that led people to the website to be exposed to the turbine as well. Um, and my plan was always to have, um, or my future plan was to have an expansion of the line that was turbine med, where I did offer some products that were specifically for medical professionals. Uh -huh. So in a sense, it kind of just kind of catapulted me into that, uh -huh. you know, even though I wasn't quite ready for it, but it, it happened and uh -huh. it's working out well. So the masks are just as I saw, I showed you guys on the mannequin. Um, the adult size is a one size fit all, so it should fit a male just as well. Um, very loose, comfortable elastic, but there are two layers of cotton and then there's also a filter that's sewn into it. Uh -huh. So the filter itself is a polypropylene fabric, uh -huh. which is, if you think about what a recycling um, grocery bag looks like, uh -huh. it's pretty much that type of fabric. Uh -huh. It's um, non-porous, it's a synthetic fabric, so basically nothing's getting through. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it's, it's highly protective. Um, but these are some of the prints that I have, and most of them are coordinating to the turbines that I already have. So if you are interested in ordering the set, you can get both pieces. So this one is Fuego. This is the one that matches what I'm wearing now, mm -hmm. the turban that I'm wearing, Moroccan. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually, let me mention this, uh, a new feature, because some people, even though the elastic is very stretchy mm -hmm. and comfortable, some people um, said that it was a little too tight. So I revamped the um, elastic to offer one that is adjustable. Okay. So it has kind of like a little um, cord stop, similar to what's on the turban, where you can actually adjust it to fit comfortably if, you know, the regular elastic is not comfortable for you. Okay. So. And they are washable and they uh, are filtered. So they may not be FDA approved, but they definitely are yes. up to standard for protection. I'm a pharma rep, so they're definitely um, will provide you guys a good level of protection while you're out there. We're not going to say you're not going to catch COVID if you wear a turban mask, but we will say that it, it does is. offer a good layer of protection. I just wanted to add to that, too. Um, I just started making uh, more kids. Before, I was just offering the kids sizes in the same prints as the turban and the other adult sizes, but I now have some kid prints. Uh -huh. So we have Paw Patrol, and I have no I have no idea what kids watch these days. I was just kind of guessing. Uh -huh. <laughs> we got the Marvel Heroes. We have Trolls. Girl, and then we also see. have Disney Princess. They're going to love those. So if you're interested in those, I, they're not on the site currently, but I will um, get them up probably by the end of the week. So you can order, you know, the whole family can have a mask. Uh -huh. Someone said they like how it doesn't go behind your ear. You know, you don't have to have both behind your ear and that, that you have a, around your neck while you're driving. You know, when you that was a big mask. debate because a lot of people complained about the ear straps hurting after a while. Mm -hmm. um, and me personally, I, I don't have a preference on either one, but I thought that the strap that goes around the head and around the neck had more security yes. because it closes in these gaps on uh -huh. the side. So I guess it's really about preference. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe I'll offer an ear tab one too at some point. I don't know. Yeah, uh, all head mask, um, double looped head mask, gonna provide better protection because it closes in any gaps and yes. it provides a fit to your face. So when you're buying just even the regular mask um, for your travels or you know just day to day now during COVID, you want to make sure that you have a mask that's fitted to your nose all the way under your chin and it's closed on the sides because mm -hmm. if not, then you're not protected. And the double loops do help with that. So. Um, so, um, well, I think that's all we had for questions. I, Is that you know, it? where can they find, can they find the, uh, turban head wrap? So I do have a website is turbanheadwrap.com. Uh -huh. Um, uh, and again, all the products are available there. I have about 
12 or 14 different fabrics for uh, turbines and then even more offerings for the mask themselves. Um, there's a special price for the mask and turbine together. So those are um, going for $50. Um, the turbine itself is 40 alone and then the mask are 15 for adult sizes. If you're ordering kids, they're 10. Um, but yeah, just visit the website. Um, I did provide a code for those of you who are watching, if you're interested in purchasing, um, just for being a viewer today, there is a special code um, runway 15 in order to get 15% off your purchase if you decide to go to the website. And that will be good through Sunday. Okay, I am pinning it right now at the bottom so that they can screenshot it. I put it at the bottom. You guys can screenshot the screen for the code runway 15. Um, it's been for today's viewers. You'll get a discount if you buy a Turbon product. So, well, this was fun. Wasn't that bad at all, right? <laughs> I guess my heart stopped beating so fast now. It kind of calmed down a little bit. <laughs> okay, and I will save it on the live to my Instagram, and I'll send it to you uh, so you can put it on your page, too. Okay, any questions, anything? Yeah, we'll there? take some questions. If you guys have questions, there's a question mark at the bottom of the screen where you can ask your question and we can answer it. Someone asked me, how often do you think of traveling? Every day, I wanna go home every time. day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> once you go, once you get on a plane, you always crave it. Like it's always something that, you know, you're desiring, you wanna do it. Um, someone asked, I hope the mask never go away on planes because I'm a mouth breather when I sleep. Lord, help you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, someone asked, does the mask have a metal nose piece to fit the nose? It shouldn't it be does not. a little string, but I'll let her explain. Since it doesn't, nose. but the way it's made, it's concave to fit around your nose. Let me see if I can put this on. I got this lip gloss on, so let's let's see what happens here. This is the adjustable one, but you put it on here. And I think we did tell you guys that it's washable and it comes with a filter and you can change the yes. yeah. it's I suggest out. that you wash it by hand just to keep it intact. Because again, the filter is um, synthetic. So just to preserve the life of it, I would suggest that you wash it by hand. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, and see how it's sewn? It's already fitted for your face. There's right. no holes. There's no gaps, gaps here gaps. and there's no gaps on the side. Right. It's the first time I put it all together. This is cute. Yeah, girl, you're looking cute. Look at you. You have to go get me something to eat. <laughs> you are hilarious. All right. I think that may be the end of our questions. We're getting some hearts and likes. If you guys enjoyed it, please go and support Turbon Head Wraps. Also, make sure you follow Runway Life. Um, to book your next vacation, whenever that may be. Just know that there's still no international travel. All borders are closed. Um, the U.S. is really the only country that's even still offering domestic travel. Um, a lot of countries stopped inter travel between their countries. Um, some of them are starting to open that up, but they are not welcoming any outsiders. So just know <laughs> that. Someone asked about swim caps. As a black woman, I try to swim cap. It's never worked for me. I don't know if it's worked for any other nationality. Or Tiffany has yeah. to try to swim cap. I don't swim. So well. <laughs> and if I get in the water, I might as well just get wet. So yeah. I'm I don't I don't do all of that. Sorry. I, I can't come like in that one. Swim caps, when I have tried them and I put them on, the hair is still my hair is still wet when I get out. It may not be my whole head, but like everything around the crown is so, um, and then once that seeps in, it gets into the rest of your head. Yeah. So, who knows? But we just think, embrace the natural. Yes. Come on, curls for the girls. <laughs> well, thank you guys for your time today. And I thank Turbine, Miss Tiff, for coming on and supporting and giving all of our viewers a special discount. So, Go shop. Thank you for the opportunity, Tiff. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Um, next Tuesday at 7 p.m. It's going to be talking about travel with one of my friends who's a realtor. 
and we're going to talk about investment and travel, um, basically um, investing in rental properties and, uh, you know, uh, condos or homes that you may want to turn into a rental property, how to go about doing that, and, you know, the steps to go through that. So come back and join us next Tuesday at 7. <laughs> See you guys later. Thank you, guys. Bye.